Hey guys, welcome back to Fortress Craft. There is a new tutorial and new other things, and we're gonna go check them out. So the first thing we see when we crash land: survival. You have survived the initial crash, and Arthur sir, sacrificed himself to make you a tiny survival environment. Arthur will now explain a few of your base's features. Even though he's sacrificed himself, he's going to explain some features to us, but that's okay. The force field will disappear when this is complete. Your CPH is the center of your base and will provide small amounts of power and fed resources. Look at your CPH and press E to access it. You can then click add resources to feed it some coal. And... Okay. Not sure what we're looking at here. Mission report. Why don't we set this to... I'm not sure what this is, so I'm going to set this to five minutes so that we will see it quickly. This looks like Arthur here to be flip-flopping around the poor guy. Alright, well, this part seems similar. Ah, there we go, some more stuff. PSBs are your primary way of storing power for your base. Locate your PSB in your base now, then highlight it. Alright, so basically it's, it's pretty much the old tutorial, but way more in-depth it seems. Ore extractors allow you to collect ore whilst you are busy doing other things and require power. Locate your ore extractor and access it with E again. Feed it 200 power. That's nice. It, it tells you what the machines do right away without you having to go look at anything. That's kind of nice. Good for newer players. Storage hopper storm. Process items automatically. Your machines will take resources from or give them to a storage hopper. Locate your storage hopper and press Q to empty it. Remove the coal that has been mined. You can ping to locate known or unknown items in your world. Find an unscanned item now, highlight it, and hold right mount button to scan it. You can do that to the floor right below you, as long as you haven't previously scanned it. I wonder what would happen if you went and scanned everything you could and then got that quest. Should have tried that. Anyway, once scanned, unknown items need to be researched. Locate and highlight your research station, then press E to interact and complete the research. Researching earns points to unlock new technologies. Fantastic. I always seem to forget which side this thing is on. Process. Arthur has helped you through the start of your survival mission. Now it's time to say thank you. Head to the crafting plant, select it, and press E and make a power core. Oh, you can select the arm or the bottom. It doesn't matter. Again, I love the new crafting tabs. It makes everything so much easier. You've got a few storage hoppers, laser power transmitters, and conveyor belts left over. Locate the hollow tutorial around the CPH. This shows you an ideal miniature automation setup. Place your machines there. Well, oh, here we go. It starts with over here. Looks like we need the storage hoppers here. Yes. And then... Normally there was like a conveyor belt or something. Well, there used to be little lines or something that showed up to show you where the conveyor belts should go. I don't know what happened to those. Maybe that's a, a glitch or something. I don't know. But I want to check out... Ooh, look at that. I want to check out the new stuff. That's what I want to do. Such as these things... God knows what that is. We're going to scan that. And since we are so close to the base and I really want to know what that is, I'm going to go... Oh, look, we got more over there. I'm going to go process it now. Glow tubes. These massive glowing tubes appear to contain fibers that could be useful. So, what about this one? Glow tubes. And that's also glue tubes. Okay. I believe there was another interesting looking one. There's some different ones over there. Those might be just a different colored biome. But I thought I saw something else over here. That I, Yeah. This rock formation. Scanning unknown block. There we go. Alright. I'm going to, yeah, those plants look a little different, but I'm going to go ahead and scan, or see what this is, just so I'm not going to confuse what is what. Glow tubes. Okay. Okay. 
Let's take a better look at these. Maybe I scanned through it or something? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see here. Block type glow tubes. It seems that we can't exactly interact with the rock itself. It's just there's something in here that we're able to interact with. Everything that we're touching is glow tubes. Okay. Well, maybe that'll change at some point. What about these new plants looking here? I don't know if we've seen these before. I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and scan this one, too, because I'm pretty sure I've already seen these ones. We will take a quick look at those and run off again. It's telling me to... S I'm, I'm kind of working on a mission here, and I didn't even realize it. It's telling me to scan six. All right, we have the coxcomb. Yeah, we've seen that before. Tri-seed. That's the new one. It still says that it doesn't appear to be very useful yet. Oh, here's this mission report, I guess. Recommendation, extract and smelt tin and copper. Okay. Conveyor zero, none infested. Unspent research points, research progress. All right, this is kind of interesting. It's just a report of all of your things. I suppose it'll get a lot larger once we actually build a base. It's pretty helpful. Now that I know what it is, I'm going to turn it off, essentially, by putting it on 60 minutes. So it's not going to appear again for another 60 minutes. Here's our crash site. I like how we're not inside the crash ship anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and scan. Oh, that's coal. Okay, I don't need to scan coal throughout this one. That's coal as well? Really? Let me go take a look at that. Oh, okay. Now that I'm up closer, I can definitely tell that that is coal. Z to zoom in and it's definitely cool. It looks interesting against this background. We're gonna go ahead and scan this. Organic detritus. Yeah, I know that. What about this? This must be rock. Press H. Yeah, I see you, Arthur. I don't really want to press H. But yeah, I like how we're not right up against the crash ship like we used to be. It looks to be a good double the distance further away. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely died once or twice on the fire to that. First time I had no idea what killed me. Second time I figured it out by seeing what killed me. All right, so the unmo material, yeah, that was ruffian rock, that's what I thought. Get Arthur to come back. I didn't mean to send him away. I'm gonna go take a look around, see if I can find anything else new, and I'll bring you back if I do. Okay, it's not really new, but doesn't that look amazing? We have an unknown block it keeps teasing me with. Maybe it's these plants. I don't know. But doesn't that look amazing? Never would have imagined six months ago when I was making videos of Fortress Craft that I would be seeing something like this. Completely different, new, exciting. I love it. We've got a lot of color up here, too. I really like that. I like the color. I believe when you crash on an alien planet and there's all kinds of weird alien life forms. The colors are gonna be weird and vibrant as well. At least I hope, in my mind, and from what I've seen, sci-fi. I'm gonna keep looking around, see if I can find anything else. All right, here it is. I've, I still have the glitch where that stupid block appears. Hey, look, this guy just uh, suicided himself for me. But here we go, we have one of these rock formations and it's an unknown block. Yeah, all right. Let me go and process that scan and I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you, this uh, hollow base mode is really useful for when you're really far away from your base and you have no idea where you are. All right, we have a goopy dangler. That is the plant that we ran across. I believe that was the red one. And okay, it still says glow tubes, maybe just a different one. Hopefully that'll change or something. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I highly doubt it though. It's probably supposed to be something different because it does look significantly different. Maybe they're just crossing with the uh, reference IDs or some technical crap that I really have no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, that looks to be just about it. I mean, we can take a quick look through the crafting. Probably not going to be anything new right off the bat. If there is anything new, we probably have to go through quite a bit of the game. Yeah, probably have to go through some of the game to actually find it. But let me tell you, the scenery and just the environment and terrain, I don't know what, when it comes to affecting my system performance. Because right now, I don't have a base. 
So everything's just running very smoothly. I don't know how it's going to be. Uh, if I can get up here, that'd be nice. We get a nice clear view of everything from up here. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to be system performance wise once we have a base and up and running. But right now everything just looks great. I mean, we got some of those plants just kind of floating off here in the background, but I'm sure that will also be fixed. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.